And next, let's take a look at the Iru-san's Check-In Attendance Season 4 event, which is starting up this Thursday. Log in every day for new rewards, including a new outfit set. So this will be going on from Thursday, September 7th, after the maintenance, until Thursday, November 30th, before the maintenance. During the event, you'll receive the Guide Quest Stamp Employee Contract. Log in during the event period to receive the stamp employee contract. Register for the event with the stamp employee contract. You will receive the following items after completing the stamp employee contract. So, 1000 XP, 500 gold. So, use this box to select and receive one of the following items. So these are all the items you can get. You can get potions from this. EXP fruit, repair kits, shadow crystals, things like that. Direct dyes. Only one box can be used every real day, which resets at 7 a.m. And items from this box expire after one day. A lot of people weren't too happy about hearing about that. So find a kitty in need in front of the unicorn statue. Registration is available for the account, so you can participate in the event on any character. Once registered, an Irusan icon will appear on your screen. You can view the calendar by clicking on the icon. There are a total of three calendar pages. The first two calendars will have 28 days and the last will have 21. You can also view how many stamps you have, how much time is remaining before you receive a stamp, or how far along you are. A new event Clock timer is available, so you can check your progress without having to open up the menu, that's nice. So attendance stamps. There is a new way to earn a stamp each day, so clear one of the following missions to instantly get a stamp. Uh, so your daily Tailton mission, or your daily Tara mission, a Baltane mission, other than Nowhere to Run, Gatekeeper, Knights of the Round Table. Uh, Lord missions, Magmel missions, and Tectuin missions. Or you can stay logged in for an hour to receive a stamp. Staying logged in on any character will count towards the one hour needed to collect the stamp. If you still have time remaining on your calendar, and it is already 7am, the remaining time will not be reset. If you log out and log in after 7 a.m. the next day without completing the previous day's attendance, the remaining time you had is still counted, and you can continue to stay logged in to complete the attendance. Once the attendance is complete, for two situations, Above, you can no longer continue with the current day's attendance. So you can only receive one stamp a day, so basically either wait an hour or rush it and do one of the, these daily missions. Rewards that weren't claimed from the event calendar can be claimed by talking to Lorna in various ULED towns. The rewards will be available for one week after the event ends, from November 30th after the maintenance, until December 7th before the maintenance. So basically when this event ends, if, you, if there's anything that you didn't get around to claiming, you can talk to Lorna, and you'll have like one week to like claim your remaining items, which is nice. When talking to Lorna after the event has ended, any unclaimed rewards will be sent to the character's point shop inventory. And also notice how uh, this says purchase. So basically if you've missed like a couple days, you can purchase a stamp with uh, Pawn to catch up. 
Yeah, and it says it right here. If you miss a day, you can purchase an attendance pass for 29 pawn. The attendance pass will stamp one day you miss on the calendar. The attendance pass is not an item that is stored in your inventory. Instead, when purchased, the pass is immediately used. The amount of passes you can buy increases daily if you missed a previous day's login. Additionally, speak to a kitty you need and select Gold Event Shop. A kitty in need sells five magical attendance passes that can be used to recover stamps you've missed. This item will be removed when the event ends. So let's take a look at a few of the rewards. So at 7 stamps you get the Eclipse second title coupon, and that gives you luck plus 30. And that's what the uh, title effect looks like, mostly just for show. And you get 7 Idrusun's support selection boxes, which expire in 14 days. And any item that you claim from those expire in one day, so keep that in mind. So, stamp 14. Itersen's Premium Box number 1. Uh, rebirth Potions. So you get 3 Rebirth Potions. A 500% Golden EXP Fruit. And 7 Itersen's Support Selection Boxes. And Irusan's special support selection box number two. Select one of the following a Golden Hammer of Durability, a 300% EXP Fruit, a Baltane Elite Mission Pass selection box, and Amplified Skill Training Seal, which adds like 50 EXP to one of your skills. I'm not sure how to say that guy's name, but you can get the uh, shoes selection box for that character. Okay, second calendar. So, second calendar, stamp 7. You can get a spirit transformation liquor spreading darkness. That's what the effect will look like around the weapon you use it on. Which looks pretty cool. And stamp 14, you can get a Mouth Beauty Coupon. Stamp 21, you can get a Eyes Coupon. And Calendar 3, stamp 7 is the Wig Selection Box. Stamp 14 is the Outfit Selection Box. And finally, on, stamp, on page 3, stamp 21, you get the uh, Portrait. For your homestead. So yeah, this is basically just a average AFK event where you either stay logged in for an hour, or you just do a daily mission to get a, to get stamps and get rewards. So you can get a lot of useful stuff from this. But yeah, that's the uh, Idusun's attendance season four.